We're at the L Acoustics America's headquarters. I'm with Dave Ratt. Thank you for joining us. Since the beginning of time, audio engineers, especially in live sound, have been trying to make it sound consistent throughout the entire space, make it sound good for everybody in the audience. But as we've seen over those decades, that's a lot harder to do than it is to theoretically imagine. Uh, we've set up a cool example, a demonstration setup here for you. We've got this camera, an overhead camera up here, and a handheld cam. And we're gonna put on these headphones to listen to this microphone. This microphone is gonna be what you hear as well. We've got an array up here of L Acoustics Sivas. Stick around because we're gonna demonstrate how the Elisa system is kind of getting us closer to that ideal of giving everyone a really immersive and consistent experience throughout an entire audience. So theoretically speaking, what would be the best way to give everybody in the audience a consistent experience, Dave? The goal is to have everybody in the room have a wonderful experience. And as an engineer, you're mixing a sound and you want to deliver that sound to everyone in the room. So you start off with a mono speaker. I mean, it makes sense. You would just have all the sound radiated from the source and evenly dispersed to everyone. Everybody hears everything perfect, right? Makes sense? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll, okay. we'll use pink noise because that contains equal energy per octave across the frequency band. As you heard, it's pretty even coverage until you get out of the coverage angle of the speaker. Off axis, yeah. And there's also a big limitation in that it's right in front of the stage, which yeah, we Yeah, kind of have. in the way. So what we could do to get it out of the way mm -hmm. and maybe to cover more of the audience area is to use multiple mono speakers. But unfortunately, when you have the same signal, a correlated signal in the air, coming from two separate sources, those may align perfectly in the center, but when you start to move off to the side, you'll start to hear what's called comb filtering. You can see that some frequencies are summing together, some frequencies are canceling out, and it creates somewhat of a comb on that frequency graph. And the reason for that is because depending on the wavelength of each frequency, some will align at that point, and some will align completely inverted at that point. Summation and cancellation will happen when you're equidistant from two sources recreating the exact same signal, you get summation. When you have an offset and one distance is farther or the time offset is different, then you get cancellations and summations that are frequency dependent, that comb filtering effect, and it's a mess. But that's also what causes power alley which gives you that big bass boost right in the middle, and it's also what causes all the cancellation notes throughout a venue. Right, so that wide dual mono where the left and right speaker are playing the same thing, that's great for a line of audience Everybody members. Everybody stands in the, oh, center, the center, we're all good. They're all equal distance from the speaker, but as you'll hear in a second, it deteriorates quickly as you step to the side. Right now, the pink noise is coming from one source and it's being split to the left and right speaker. And that means that it's a correlated source. Can you tell us what that means? If two speakers are recreating the same sound, we call that correlated. The same sound is radiated from multiple points in space. These sounds are related, they're correlated. And that means that they're gonna have a maximum impact on each other. If you polarity reverse one and sum it back together, you'll get cancellation and you can actually get a null if they're perfectly correlated. And the more correlated they are, the more impact differentials in distances and time will have on them, and it's quite audible. When you have decorrelated sounds, there is no impact on each other, and sounds can be fully correlated, fully decorrelated, or somewhere in between, or anywhere in between. 
So theoretically, now that these are correlated, if we were to invert the polarity on one side, this being equal distance from each speaker should have a really drastic level. Yes, we should be able to find that center point where we get a huge null, and we'll hear what we heard before, but we'll hear it even more drastic. Let's try sending a correlated signal, same signal to the left and right speaker, and then we'll invert the polarity on one side and listen for a cancellation right here in a space that's equidistant from each speaker. As you can hear, now we've got the inverse of a power alley. Yeah. Right down the center, it's canceling We've got perfectly. the power valley. 